Hello everyone, welcome to MES e-learning channel. In this video, we will solve a different type of problem on resultant of parallel force system. So in the given question, they have said resolve the force F equal to 900 Newton acting at point B. So as shown in the figure. So into parallel component at point O and A. So we have a force which is, which is acting at B that is 900 Newton and we have to resolve this force 900 Newton into two parallel forces or else parallel component at point O and A. So we have to find out that unknown force which is acting at point A and point O. So how we can solve it? So let us solve. So we are going to first thing is we are going to assume two forces. So assume F1 and F2 as a parallel component. So we have to convert into a parallel component. So we are assuming that two forces are parallel component. Parallel components of force. Okay. So if you are assuming that, so ultimately we can draw a two forces acting downward. That is a F1 and F2 at point A and point O. Okay. So this is a given force. This is a given force acting at point B. So we have to find out these two unknown forces F1 equal to question mark and F2 equal to question mark. So we have to find out this parallel forces acting at point O and point A. Now how to find out these things? So the second step would be we can take the moment. So first thing is taking moment, moment about point O. So we are going to take a moment about point O. So if you are taking moment po about point O, so what we will have? Summation of moment is nothing but the force into distance, right? Summation of moment is nothing but the force into distance. So at point O, so the summation of moment is nothing but the this force. This is a clockwise direction. So this become 900 into 3. And what are the forces we have? At the point O, we have this force will become gone and we have only F2 force. So F1 will be into 0. That means it will be gone because there is no zero distance. So this F2, this F2 is acting again a clockwise direction. So it is minus of F2 into 1 meter. Sorry. F2 into 1. Right. So from this equation, we can find out F2. From this equation, we can find out F2. So F2 would be equal to 2700 Newton, which is a negative Newton. So we can write it as F2 is equal to 2700 Newton acting downward. Newton. So here we have taken the moment about point O and the summation of moment is equal to F into D. So for summation of moment is nothing but the, the force which is we, we have given that part and we can take 900 into 3 equal to the given force. Now to find out F1, now we have to find the force of F1. So what we can do is we can take the moment about point O. So we can take the moment about point O. taking moment about point A to find out the F1 force. And we have to apply the Verigon's theorem. So if you want to take the moment about point O, sorry point A. So about point A, summation of MA suffix A is equal to F into D. So this moment A again. So this is this Newton, this force Newton is about point A would be acting again a clockwise direction, but the distance is 2 meter. So it will be minus 900 into 2 meter. This will be equal to at this point F2 will become 0 that is F2 into 0 because there is no distance plus F1 again F1 is acting like this. F1 is acting like it is a clockwise anti-clockwise direction so it is a positive. So 
f1 into 1 meter. So, if you see the force of this will would be equal to f1 will be equal to minus of 1800 Newton and 1800 Newton is nothing but it is a acting downward. So, we have taken it as a negative direction. So, it could be like a positive one. So, this line minus 800 1800 Newton for the f1 direction. So, the given is we have to resolve the 900 Newton, but we got two forces that is f2 equal to minus 2700 Newton and f1 is equal to minus 800 Newton. So, this these two forces we have assumed it. So, these two forces we have assumed it that it is acting downward by looking at this sign it is acting downward, but we want to find out the force given force f equal to 900 right. So, to get this value we have to change some sign. So, if we change the sign of f1 to positive that is 1800 and what will be the value of 2700. So, that will be like if you have the value of f2 as 1800 and if you have the value of uh, f2 as minus 2700. So, we can we can easily balance out the equilibrium. So, the position would be now changed to like this. This is acting downward B direction. Direction downward means 900 minus and so we have a, a is also acting downward 2700 and this O point it is a one more force which is acting upward that is 800, 1800. So, if you add this thing, if you add this, this is 1 meter and this is from here it is 2 meter. See, so this is 1800 plus 1800 minus 2700. If you do these things, we will get as minus 900. So, which is also equal to this thing. So, that is the reason we have taken this 1800 as a positive. So, because in the earlier stage, we have assumed it is a downward, but actually it should be upward direction. I hope you understood this uh, tricky question. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you guys.